Okay, I'm going to talk about GPS coordinates coming in and the SIM and uh, how kind of complicated it actually is when it comes to the program and it deciding which one it's going to use when you first start the program. Now, in Position Designer, it uh, part of the code, once it actually has a valid latitude and longitude and everything is normal, then it starts running through the the position part to determine your heading and where you are in the world and set up OpenGL and all that other stuff. But at some point you have to start the program and that's what this initialized first few GPS positions does. Now it takes the, those the positions and it converts it to UTM, UTM coordinates, which are zones, 62 zones all over the world, and then XY coordinates. And then we just take the integer of the the initial UTM, which remember is your distance away from the prime longitude and how far north or south you are away from the equator. I'm 6 million meters away from the equator and 500,000 meters away from, from prime. So that then takes all those numbers and just takes the integer of it, like it removes the decimal, and then you come up with what you see often is called the offset. And so my position then becomes 0, 0 or 0 0.1, 0 0.3, whatever, plus this UTM offset, which is, again, the distance from prime and a distance away from the, the equator. Now, the reason you do that is because OpenGL and just basic math, if you have 5.9 million or you know, five, if you have 6 million meters and you go 6 million point one then there isn't a lot of bits of resolution left to go from 0 0.0001 meters. Like it's hard, it's, you just run out of bits in order to do a millimeter or a centimeter of resolution away from that point. So what we do is we turn it into zero to one. So now you're talking two kilometers now or 2000 meters across your whole field kind of max. And then you can get a lot more accurate. Again, with OpenGL, it's only 32 bits. So you only have 16 bits for a decimal and 16 bits for the other side of the decimal. So that's why we need to do this, is in order to get some resolution. Now, the first time the program is run, are you running the simulator or are you running the GPS coordinates? If you're running Ag Open GPS and you plug in your simulator, or sorry, you, you're running Ag Open GPS with the simulator and you turn on your GPS and you hook up your serial port and everything's fine and working, except all this is wrong if your simulator is way off from where you actually are in the world. So it's really, really, really important that if you change something from a simulator, you turn the simulator off and back on again, that Ag Open GPS has to know what you want to do when you run it. So you can't do both at once or change one within, without the other one as you're running the program. So that's really important is this first fixed position for Ag Open GPS is determined when you first run and you first read the first GPS position. So that's really important. So once we have our, our UTM offsets, then we figure out what that convergence angle is. That remember is as you get closer and closer to the outside of the zone, we have to rotate that grid to match the, the longitude line. And then we also create our world grid. And then we start creating our fixes for preventing the thing from spinning when you're standing still, you're going ahead, going back that sort of thing. So again, all this is done when you initially run the program and that's done as soon as the first position is determined. So that's really important is if you're changing something, restart the program so all that can be figured out at the very beginning and be correct. Okay, so let's just start the program now. Now I'm using a simulator, so it'll use the sim and determine all this stuff. So that I have my latitude, my longitude, and you can see I'm 5.9 million meters north of the equator and I'm 489,000 east or west, I don't know, of the prime meridian. But then and also I am in zone 12. That's where, where I am. So as soon as I open a field, there you can see that that offset now subtracts from the easting and the northing that huge offset. My, my latitude and longitude hasn't changed and my zone hasn't changed. I remember someone came up with a problem as they were going across the field, the zone would change. So that's the other thing that cannot change is the zone, otherwise it messes everything up too. So that zone is saved 
with the field. Here we have offsets. Here's those offsets. When I create a new field, when I created this field, my offsets are that, um, easting and northing, and I'm in zone 12. That way it always uses zone 12 when I use this field, kind of no matter where I am. So if your simulator's a ways out in zone, some other zone, it's not gonna work. Here's the convergence angle. And then what I've now created is called a start fix, which has your latitude and longitude of where this field, where you were sitting when you created the field. Now, well, I can understand, I know my frustration too, is I wanna try somebody else's field and I don't know where it started. I have to go put in the, the coordinates, that sort of thing. So what I've done is change the enter sim coordinates. Now there's a lot of choices here. I don't know if this is gonna be more confusing or less, but I, I really hope that it does make sense. So you can manually enter your latitude and longitude. I have a convenient little map here to help you kind of figure out roughly where you are and where you should be. But this field GPS origin is the, the latitude and longitude of where the GPS was when this field was created. This is what the GPS current fix is. I don't think I'm moving. So there, I'm moving. So if I want to use the GPS coordinates, if I click that, it fills in the GPS coordinates and then I can use that. Or I can use these field coordinates and then just go save. At which point, it'll, it, you don't have a choice now. And now it just exit. So you run OK. So let's start the program. So this is where my GPS is. Now, if I want to say I want to open that field that Peter had, I still have that. And watch how, see, look, it just goes nuts. It's going twice as fast as it should. It's bouncing all over the place. All the resolution is mixed up. So here's my center coordinates, which are 518,000 and 4 million away, because, well, Peter's on the other side of the world. So that does make sense. My latitude and longitude are where I am here in Alberta, but the field coordinates are 48 and 17. So if I now use these field coordinates, see now it jumped, it, even though this was the lat, here, cancel. So my lat and long are correct, but look at the zone, it's 33. I'm in zone 12. So it's all messed up because we are in a completely different world and the simulator doesn't know that we are, no, we are not in America anymore, we are in Europe. So enter sim coordinates. You will notice here that the field GPS origins are 48 point and 17 point whatever. If we use these field coordinates and then go save, See, right away you can see it's better. See now our latitude and longitude is 48 and 17, our zone is 33, but everything else is messed up. So now when we run the program, there we are, 48, 17, zone 33, and we haven't opened a field yet, but when we do open the field, you gotta go back and open Peter's field. Everything is right. This is now, our easting and northing is where we should be. Oh, long story short, if you're going to change positions on your SIM and your SIM is different than your GPS, you have to tell GP, Ag Open GPS what you want to use and where you want to use it. Your GPS, of course, won't change, can't change, and that sort of thing. But the SIM, and especially if the SIM is on, if you turn the simulator off, okay, everything stops. Now, if you start and stop the program, nothing's going to happen because I don't have a GPS connected to it. So now it's sitting and waiting for a GPS coordinate. If I were to plug in a GPS now and hook it all up, then that first reading, remember that is first fixed position initialized, it will use the GPS reading. Or if I turn the simulator on, now it's going to use that. Remember, simulator's over at Peter's place. So all this is right. If I go and open now field here in Alberta, look at how funky it is. It's in the wrong position, but look at the zone 12. Remember the zone is pulled from the save field. So it's completely messed up. Even if I start and stop it, it's wrong. 
So I go back and enter sim coordinates. I use these field coordinates now, preload them. I could enter them manually, that sort of thing. doesn't matter. Go we'll save, restart the program. Voila, I'm back in Alberta with the right zone, that sort of thing. So if I open a field, everything is good.